about eight inches deep. So Jeff's going to come over and uh, we're going to mod dig this one. This is going to be good, I believe. You going to dig it? <laughs> Master Ford. Hello. Yeah, I'm back out here with the uh, Plugmaster Ford and the Missouri Mike, and we just door knocked, and we have an 1875 home with a huge lot in it. So, gonna see what we're gonna do. The weather's looking good, <clears throat> and uh, so hopefully we're gonna find some good finds in here. Maybe Jeff won't do no snake prank. You have to watch his video. He snake pranked me and uh, scared me half to death. So I got to get him back, but I'm afraid he's going to try to do something to me today too. So, hey, let's get in the yard. Let's see what we come up with. Let's see what we can get some good stuff. I'm getting like a 28, about eight inches deep. So Jeff's going to come over and uh, we're going to live dig this one. This is going to be good, I believe. You going to dig it? That's there. <laughs> kind of pimp. Kind of deep enough I'm barely getting there. It's always good soft ground. Yeah, it's showing. I hope this is going to be a big plug on this one. Oh yeah, be down there. Oh, you got out. There it is. That's gonna be silver, all right? That's oh, a barber. Oh, nice. That's a barber. You think it's a barber. Now see, I'm losing all the footage on this because I'm holding your silly camera. Here you go, you go. Let me get it. Let me get it out. Before we reveal what it is, That could be good. It was like eight inches deep. It's well, about six inches. Well, it's time to break out the holy water. So, we're hunting an 1875 house. He had a good target. Had me come over and listen to it as well. You little punker, get rid of your holy water. There's the one dime. We're gonna play the one dime here. Bring out the squirty squirt. And we got this on a live dig too. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Let's pop it. Oh, on, what do you on, think on, it is, on. guys? Let me smell it. I always smell them. Ooh, that's seeded. Yeah, I think it's seeded. You think it's seeded? Oh, it's Barber. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, Barber. It still, that's still a awesome dandy. Fine. That's still an awesome fine. Oh, Give me one more squirt there. Yeah. You. <clears throat> and we'll see what that is for everybody. Nineteen oh one. Good find, man. That's a good start to the Thank day. Thank you. Yeah. It's my first clip of the day. It's Get my first clip of the out, day. Off your face. Been there digging a lot of uh, <laughs> trash. Good job. But we finally got the got the barber here. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. Nineteen oh one barber. Let's get a picture of it and get a close up. Compact. Yeah, this thing is <clears throat> yeah, at least six seven inches. Is registering an eight on the uh, detector and uh, screaming definitely screaming silver and uh, glad we got it live dug on that one all right 1901 wait 1875 home so need to get on back a little bit more so let's keep on going yeah, yeah. we already got one live dig this is a good one jeff's doing a live dig here about six inches i'm calling it a dime he's calling it a quarter he's already got squirty squirted out by faith <laughs> it's gonna be a, a, a memorial penny. A memorial penny. Could be. Could be. Could be a seated. Still got some depth. I like the fact that it's in the hole. Didn't miss it, huh? It's 
still down there. Did I see silver? You got it's it. In the hand. I thought I saw silver. There it is. Silver dime, I called it. I call, it's a barber. It's a barber. Is it? Yeah. There you go. Let me get my gloves on. Good job, buddy. I saw one dime on the back. I don't okay, know if it's barber. Out. If you guys don't mind, I'd like to record it. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to borrow our footage. Yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah, it definitely we called it. It was about six inches. And I... Right, I dig on their channel but not on mine. Mm -hmm. They're calling Barber. It's a mercury. Okay, okay, that's fine. We're used to it. We're used to it. <laughs> okay. Mercury down. Well, you'll be on the back porch. This other one will probably eat you more than the one in the back. Okay. Okay. But they had to go potty. Well okay. yeah, no doubt. Mercury down. Oh it's a merc. I thought I saw one dime on the back. It did. It said one dime on the back. It did. <laughs> Just not the way we it usually see it, is it? 1940... 40-something. 40 1940-something mercury dime. I'll take that. Well, you're in the ball game now. Good not job, buddy. Not until I get in, I'm not in the game until I get in. Yeah, get in then. Good job. Thank you. All right. It's got to be some seated out here now. We'll get us a little trifecta. See yeah. if you can see that in the sun there. There we go. Good job, Jeff. Thank you, sir. Yeah, You're on the board. The yep. All right, let's keep going. I got my barber right out there. There's a lot of aluminum siding trash in here. A lot of high tones and nickel tone sounds. It's just coming up trash. I've been digging it. This came up as a high tone, like a 22. Uh, good sound. It's not a Tootsie toy. Uh, I don't think it is, but it's an old car nonetheless. I've always liked digging these old toys. It's always nice. All right, let's keep on going. That's getting a 26, a solid 26 at six inches deep. And uh, I'm gonna live dig this one. Jeff dug one while ago, went over and listened to it, and it was a 26 at six inches deep. It was a mercury dime. I dug my barber just over here to my left. And uh, <clears throat> so this could be, this could be silver. We'll see. Still in the hole, that's a good sign. Nope. It's just going to be not just a memorial. Check that out. Wow, just a memorial. All right, that's what you get when you live dig sometimes. Let's keep on going. Jeff called an Indian. He's got it out. Had a good Indian signal. Um, pulled it from, oh, I don't know, six inches, maybe seven. Just popped her out. We're going to see if it's an Indian or if it's just a memorial. Creature diggers call them memorial. Oops. I lost it. And that looks Indianish to me. Can't tell. Poor weedy. So weedy. You're going to be one on the no, weedy. It's, it's an Indian, I think. No, it's a, it's a Lincoln. Oh, it is a Lincoln. And it is going to be a weedy. I think you got, you're must in the weedy. A, must be an early one. See if I can get a little bit of that without breaking up the squirty squirt. We're limited today. Yep, Maybe one cent. <coughs> there you go, guys, one cent. A weedy king. On one to nothing to nothing. <laughs> weedy king so yeah. far. Well, I'm right here. See this sidewalk? There's a sidewalk through here. And I just dug an Indian head right off the very side of that thing at four inches. Check that out. There it is. That's nice. Let's see. It's in good shape, too. It's in good shape. What year is that going to be? 1888. Let me get my other camera. We'll get a close up. It's Jeff over there. Missouri Mike over here. Got this 1875 home. And right out in the front. My line is right here. I'm on my side. That's Jeff's side over there. And we just dug that 1888 Indian head penny. Oh, I like digging these Indian heads. They are nice. It's in great shape, too. 
All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep on going. Barber and Indian, can't beat that. Hey, we're over here on this side of the house. Jeff's over there, Mikey's in the back. And uh, the ground's really dry, so these tones are ringing up really deep. This I thought about three or four inches, but it's ringing up like a uh, memorial penny. But there it is. I don't know what's going to be. Looks maybe a Merc. Let me get my other camera and we'll see what it is. Yeah, it is a Mercury. I'll take a Mercury. That's that, two that's, of the four. That's... Right. There you go. 1936. 36 Mercury Dime. All right. 1936. I'll take that. Yeah, that wasn't very deep at all. That no, it's ringing up that, that dark, very, very dry dirt. It's just ringing up odd. Yeah, everything's odd. So I've got an Indian, a barber, <laughs> and a Merc. Let's keep going. Yes. It's a Kennedy. That's like one of the rarest to dig, believe it or not. 64 silver Kennedy, or is it 40 percent? It's a 40 percent or 67. 67? Yeah, 67. Year I was born. 40 percent so awesome. silver Kennedy. Well, that's a bucket lister, really. Well, good job, man. I mean, I got one of those in the silver hoard, but that's my first out digging. Wow. <laughs> you happy like with that, that one? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take go. a 40 percent big silver. That's awesome, dude. Good job. Super. Almost didn't dig yet. Dig them all. Yeah, why this wouldn't you a, dig it? Was that? so obnoxiously loud. This is Jeff's big silver here, forty percent. Year I was born, sixty-seven. You're a pup. I'm just a pup. By a year. Gotcha. I didn't get you though on camera. You were behind the seat. Ah, uh, wow. I hit it up. Did you just throw it? No, I put it up in your window earlier. Yeah, I got him that time, but I didn't really get it on camera though. So I just got back from uh, my trip to Missouri, then up to Wisconsin, then back to Missouri. And uh, I got back uh, yesterday and didn't have time to lay out everything. Sorry about the traffic. I'm right on the road. And uh, But uh, I just got back from Missouri hunting with Missouri Mike and uh, Plugmaster Ford. Found some good things, and uh, let me show you what I got. Well, a lot of my trash is all scattered out in the back of my truck right there. Most of it I left in Plugmaster's truck. That was some of the Wisconsin trash, too. But I uh, ended up getting another brass nozzle. And uh, that's always a good find. I add that to the collection. Got a silver plated spoon that's in pretty bad shape. I got five quarters and I got five pennies, three nickels. I mean, uh, five dimes, three nickels, and uh, six pennies. I got uh, seven wheat pennies, and I don't even know the date on those. I didn't even look them up yet. I got a buffalo nickel, which uh, I don't know the date, and a V nickel, which is in the 1893 or 1883 or something like that. I'm not sure on the date. I uh, can't, can't make it out. A couple of relics. I've got, uh, I dug one of these before in another location down here in Texas. It goes off of a charm bracelet or a bracelet. Got a Rexall, uh, what does that say? Something bomb. Something bomb. Got a Model T Ford valve stem cover. I did get this real nice gold-plated uh, stick pin. Actually, it had a pin on it, and the pin broke on me. But I like the gold-plated. It says Olean on it. Olean, I think that's the name on it. Got a nice 1883. I thought it was at 1888, but it's actually 1883 Indian head. Dug that in Kansas on the second trip. with uh, the, the, my, my trip was two days with, uh, on, with Missouri Mike and Plugmaster Ford. Got this 1930. Is that seven? I can't read it. 1930 something uh, mercury dime and this this was the find a 1901 barber dime well those are my finds I uh, had a good time with Plugmaster Ford in Missouri Mike I look forward to going back and detecting with them again sometime very soon they're a lot of fun 
And uh, it, though we didn't find a lot, I found some good stuff, and I appreciate the opportunity to go hunt with them. But anyway, the greatest treasure is not what you can travel to Missouri and go over to Kansas and find. The greatest tre uh, treasure is what can be found up in heaven, my friends. So keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.